What's up friends? Today, we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on our brand new Premiere tool. Brevity is an AI packed auto editing tool for Premiere that makes creating short form content so much easier. It allows you to take long form content such as podcasts, interviews, documentaries, and use AI to identify those core segments that are perfect for social media and then create new sequences from those segments add in a bunch of suggested stock footage and emojis, automatically suggest highlighted words, and a bunch of really other awesome cool stuff that makes creating short form content super quick. So let's just jump right in. I have the Brevity tool open right now, and I also have a sequence with my friend's podcast ready to go. So this is about a 33 minute long podcast, and we're going to use Brevity to quickly identify those core segments that are great for social media, reformat them for vertical, and then automatically suggest highlighted words, suggested stock media, and then also suggested emojis. Cool, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on this auto cut tool. And this is going to open a new panel that will show us a few different things. The first is going to be the amount of available credits that we have. So when you sign up for our platform at brevity.pro, uh, it's just beta right now, so you'll get a bunch of free credits that you can use to play around the tool um, see how it works in your current workflow and in exchange all that we ask is for some really nice feedback any bugs or feature requests that make this tool even better please let us know so we have the amount of available credits and then we also have the usage usage is the amount of time that our current in and out points are inside of our sequence so as you can see I have about 31 minutes of uh, duration here and then below that we have the aspect ratio. So we can keep this as the original or we can set it to be nine by 16 that will automatically reformat our video for that vertical style. So I'll just go ahead and click on create. Brevity is going to render out the audio from the sequence and then it's going to send it to our transcription service, which is much more accurate than the Premiere transcription service. So you'll spend a lot less time going through and correcting spelling and grammar issues and much more time on just editing your project. Once it's gone through and transcribed the video, it's going to use AI to identify those core segments inside of that super long content that are going to be great for uploading to social media, basically like the golden nuggets of the content. It just finished generating those AI suggested segments and now it's automatically cutting up new sequences from our original sequence that are going to be those nice bite-sized social media cuts. As you can see, we generated about five new sequences inside of here. And as soon as you click on a sequence, the tool is automatically going to load in that caption data and allow us to start editing the video straight from this text-based editor here. So let's go ahead and click on this highlight tool. This will allow us to just click on words and automatically highlight them inside of our transcript. Super easy. And if we don't want to manually go through our entire transcript here and highlight words, we can just click on this suggest highlights button. And that's going to use AI to identify some nice keyword worthy words. That's a mouthful inside of our transcript and then automatically highlight them. It's looking like it's identified some nice words inside of here. Maybe we want to run this one more time if we want to get some more uh, if we feel like we're lacking. But let's go ahead and start looking at the style of our captions here. So as you can see, when we play through this video. Let's uh, jump into recapping season six here. Evan, why don't you kick us off here? Um, you know, we started off talking about different news stories going. You can see that we have some of those words appearing highlighted and we can control all of the styling for these words inside of this style tab. And it's going to open up this new panel that is going to host all of our different styling options for our captions. So at the top here is going to be some parameters for the positioning of the captions. We can have it be the top or we can have it be the bottom or the center if we want. Uh, we have the padding, which is the amount of padding that is between the bottom of the captions and the bottom of the video. And then we also have scale inside of here as well. Below that, you can control the font that we're using for the captions, leading, tracking, uh, the case, if you want to be uppercase or all lowercase, um, the text color, the stroke color, the stroke width, 
And then below here, we have some different sections for both active text and highlighted text. The active text is going to be the current word that's being spoken inside of our video. So as you can see right now, it is really, and that's why the text is yellow. Now, if we want to change the text color here, we can just go ahead and select a new color. And now the active text is going to be that green. And then down below, when we have the highlighted words appear, uh, we can control some different styling options that are exclusive to that highlighted word, such as the animation style, the tracking, the color, uh, and then also the case and the stroke size, all that good stuff. So now let's go back to the editor here and let's move over to the media tool. So the media tool will allow us to suggest some stock footage and emojis for our social media cut. Let's go ahead and click on suggest emojis. That's going to use AI to identify a bunch of segments inside of our cut here that are going to be good for emojis. So a lot of times in social media videos, you'll see an emoji appear above the captions that's relevant to what's being talked about. Instead of having to manually identify those and then manually go find emojis for those sections, you can just use our tool to click a button and then have AI automatically suggest those emoji spots and then we can automatically import them straight into our Premiere project. Great, so it's gone ahead and suggested about 14 different emojis inside of here, and they're going to automatically pop up inside of our text-based editor. So we can control the duration of these, we can control the, uh, the emoji that's in here, or the GIF that's in here. So when we click on this, we have a suggested search query for stock footage for that section. So if we didn't want to use an emoji here, we can go through and look at some of the different stickers, also GIFs, and then also Pexels as well, which is a stock video provider. Let's close out of this, and then let's hover over this icon again, and I'll just click on the import button. So that's automatically gone ahead and imported the image file into our sequence here, and it's also set it to be right above where the captions are. And then if I go over and hover on another one, we can click on this X to delete the emoji. But if we don't want to go through and manually import all of these, we can just go ahead and click on our media tool again, and then click on import pending. That's going to go through and automatically import all of those different emojis at the specific times into our sequence. Great. So if I don't want to just automatically suggest emojis or suggest clips, we can just click on a section of our transcript here and then just drag and start highlighting a section. AI is using that selection to identify the sentiment of the selected captions or a good keyword that we can use from our selection to start searching stock media with. So in this instance, it uh, pulled out the word kick. So we have some different kick stickers here. We have some GIFs, and again, we can go into pexels or emojis as well. But let's stick with the stickers. And then at the top here, we have this drop down for selecting where in the video we want this to be placed. So there's options for the top of the video, the center, the bottom, full screen, fit screen, above captions, which is the default for the emojis. So that's why when we imported all the emojis, they were automatically placed above the captions. And then we also have below captions and person aware, which will take a look at all the different people that are in the frame and then make a, a location suggestion for the stock media so that it doesn't overlap with anyone in the scene. But let's just set it to be top for now. And this guy looks pretty cool here. So I'll just go ahead and click on select. And that's going to automatically import that uh, GIF into our timeline uh, and at the selected uh, placement. Go ahead and move on to the next tool, which is going to be the paragraph tool. And the paragraph tool is used for adjusting how the lines and paragraphs are placed for the captions. So the default is going to be to have two different lines here. But if we wanted to just have one line, we can slide this down and it's going to automatically reformat all of our captions just to be one line. And same thing, if we wanted to crank that up to be three, it's going to automatically go through and reformat our captions for that. But let's just set it to be back to two. And then below that, we have the character slider. And this is going to control the amount of characters that are allowed per line. So if we want to have like much shorter lines, we can go ahead and decrease this character count. Now, if we want a little bit more fine grain control over how the placement of these captions is looking, we can just go ahead and start clicking around on words instead of our transcript. 
So as you can see, this let's is starting before the rest of the captions inside of here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on him, click on him again, and then let's just put this guy combined with that line right there. Cool. The last tool that we have in Brevity is going to be the cut tool. And this will allow us to adjust the in and out points of our uh, social media cut here. If we go to a section down here, maybe we want to end on the word impactful. So we can just click on this and it's going to extend the length of our video to match that new uh, word that we clicked on. So that's included inside of our video. And the same goes to the beginning here. So if we wanted to start on all right, fellas, we could just click on that word and now it's going to shift the video, the times, and then all of the stock media timing as well so that it is in its correct placement after we've readjusted the time for the video. So that's Brevity. Hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, right now we're in a beta phase. We're really just looking for feedback. Uh, you can sign up for the tool over at brevity.pro. It's a free sign up. You'll get 600 minutes worth of credits to test it out. And yeah, if you have any feedback, any bugs, please let me know. Uh, we're really looking to just make this super quick, easy way to create short form videos inside of Premiere Pro. So thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.